Hello student, let's continue with the chapter 10, our shelter. Take out your previous book and turn to page 74. Today's topic is unusual houses, means uncommon houses. There are many unusual types of houses found in different parts of the world. First is houseboat. A houseboat is a large boat turned into a home. It is mostly used for tourism purpose and is, and is common in Kashmir and Kerala. Second is igloo. An igloo is a dome shaped shelter built with blocks of snow and ice. It is common in Greenland. Third is Native American tribes used to live in houses made of barks of trees called wigwams or tents made of buffalo skin called tipis. Next a special type of house called yacht is found in Mongolia and Kyrgyzstan. The Dayak tribes of Indonesia live in long houses which are long structures containing separate apartments where different families live. Some houses are mobile, for example the caravans in early times and modern days trailers. These are used by people who are always on the move. You can see in your book, first picture is tipi or wigwam, yacht and long house. Now turn, try out, find out about Erika house of Assam and Toda huts of Tamil Nadu. Collect pictures and write about the materials used to construct them. Okay student, this uh, uh, topic we will discuss in our online class. Next is fill in the blanks with the help of the given words. First, dash houses are those where people live for a long time. Answer is permanent. Cement is used to make a dash house, pakka house. In desert regions, walls of the houses are plastered with mud. Next topic is qualities of a good house. A good house is one which has plenty of fresh air and sunlight. It is also neat and clean and has proper safety measures. First is ventilation. Providing fresh air to a room is called ventilation. A good house should have enough doors and windows through which fresh air can come in. It should also allow plenty of sunlight to come in so that it is warm and bright. Second is cleanliness. A house should be clean and neatly kept. It should be swept and mopped regularly with disinfectant. The furniture and the other objects should be free of dust. All the things should be properly arranged. Garbage should be thrown in covered dustbins. Toilet should always be kept clean and hygienic. We should use wire mesh on windows and doors to keep mosquitoes, flies and other insects away. Next is safety. A good house should make us feel safe and secure. It should have strong walls and a roof to protect us from heat, cold and rain and storm. The doors and windows should have proper latches and boards so that they can be shut tightly. Nowadays many houses installed home security system consisting of CCTV cameras and alarms in order to keep the house safe. Next is decorating our house. We all love to decorate our house during festivals and special occasions. On our birthdays, we decorate our house with balloons and streamers. During Diwali, we make rangoli with the colored powder at the doorway and light diyas. On Christmas, we put up a decorated Christmas tree in villages. In villages, many people paint the walls of their house with bright colors and beautiful design. Okay, student, what do you mean by streamer? Streamer, long piece of colored paper that we use for decorating our room. Okay. Next is pets and shelter. Many families keep domestic animals like cows, buffaloes, horses and hens. These animals are kept in shelters specially made for them. Cows and buffaloes are kept in sheds. Horses in stables and hands in coops. Pets such as dog, cats, rabbit live with us in our homes. We should love them and take good care of them. Although they have, they are household animals, they have a special center. A dog is kept in kennel where a rabbit kept in hutch. Next topic is insects and rodents in the house. 
Often we need find many other animals in our house like ants, mosquitoes, house flies, cockroaches, lizards and rats. They are called pets and can spread diseases. We should try to prevent the entry of these such animals into our house by putting nets in our doors, windows and keeping water outlets covered. We should also keep our house clean and hygienic all the time. Okay student, our chapter ends here. Read chapter thoroughly and we will discuss this chapter in online class. Thank you.